Hi there folks, my name is Jay. Today we're gonna to be working on a 2005 Altima. We're gonna be replacing some front struts and some rear shock absorbers from KYB, uh, purchased through Buy Auto Parts, of course. And uh, hopefully you'll learn a few things today. Uh, we'll take you step by step through the process and uh, maybe save you a little bit of money on labor with your mechanic this time. All right, shock absorber is a very important component of the car, obviously. Um, it affects the handling, stopping distance, uh, and just the overall feel of the car. But one of the things it can do is create uneven wear on your tires. Um, this one indication, this car probably needs an alignment as well, uh, but there is some uneven wear on the tire, and uh, along with the bouncing feeling that you get, uh, sometimes on the freeway, uh, coming in and out of driveways, it's a pretty good indication that the shock absorbers and the struts here in the front need to be replaced. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get the wheel off and then uh, we'll take a look at the components inside and all the connectors and uh, see where we need to go from there. Next thing we're going to do is disconnect the two main mounting bolts. Um, once we get these bolts out, this whole hub assembly is going to tilt down towards us and then we'll be able to go up under the hood and disconnect the top of the mount and pull the whole assembly out. At this point, the top's basically disconnected. We've got one more nut. We're going to loosen by hand and we're going to grab the whole assembly as it comes out. A little bit heavy, so make sure you got a good grip on it. This thing out. And there you go. All right, so the next step here is going to be to remove the spring so we can swap it over to the new assembly. Uh, this is going to take a couple of steps. Um, this is also where you're going to need a special tool to help you out with this. This is actually a spring compressor kit. You can get this as a uh, free rental at most uh, auto parts store. You simply pay for the kit. When you take it back, they give you your money back when you're done with it. Um, and we're going to go ahead and put this on here, compress the spring down. That'll allow us to take the nut off the top, pull the old assembly off, put all the new mount, or sorry, the old mount and the spring back onto the new assembly reassemble everything and get it back in the car. This can also be done if you don't have the impact tools or the uh, automated tools to help you out with this sort of thing. You can just use the old tool manual wrench and crank away until the spring is compressed down enough to take it off the assembly. All right, now that we've got the spring compressed here enough that everything is loose, we can go ahead and take the nut off of the top and make sure this is nice and loose so there's no pressure as this thing comes off. And then we'll be able to swap everything over to the new piece. Notice here on the old strut, the dust boot and bump stop assembly has all been uh, dried out and come apart. So this is basically useless. We're going to go ahead and throw this away and replace that with a new part. <coughs> that new part looks just like this. It's got a new bump stop intact. So we'll go ahead and put that on when we put the new assembly together.